30 seconds into flight, we are feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster. Trajectory looking nominal, systems looking nominal. Just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again. At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure. Counting down now, we're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for a eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Booster's now making its way back, seeing six engines ignited on ship. Okay, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. ...of Star Command. There you see it again. This is uh, our Mission Control Center at Starbase, uh, where vehicle operators are standing by. Now, the next milestone coming up uh, is in less than a minute. Uh, at that point, ship will... Or, I'm sorry, it actually, it already has. Um, there we go. <laughs> What a day. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. I mean, this this flight pretty much just started, but we're farther than we've ever been before. We've got a Starship, not just in space, but on its coast phase into space. Oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is wow. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... Views brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. So this is the first time that we're getting to collect this re-entry data and understand how these 18,000 hexagonal heat shield tiles are working together to protect the belly of... Star